In this tip, talking about a clock image. So for righties, it's gonna be 12 o'clock to three o'clock. Lefties, you would flip the clock the other way, so it would be 12 o'clock to nine o'clock. All right, so here's what I'm getting at. This is just a simple image that will allow you to understand how your arms are going to be moving back, okay? Your arms are actually connected to your body, so if we do it with the arms, we can get the body moving too. Just a different way to do it. If you went back to the target, that's fine, but this is just another simple way to understand how your arms are moving back. So, think of a clock. Right here, I have 12 o'clock, right in front of me, three o'clock, nine o'clock. Okay, so I have these two balls off of my toes right here. So we do our setup like this. Now just think, okay, there's my lead arm. It's basically at 12 o'clock. We're gonna take our lead arm, we're gonna move it to three o'clock. 12 o'clock, three o'clock. Okay, so if I went here, 12 o'clock, three o'clock. Okay, you can see how that's starting to turn my shoulders, getting me in the halfway back position. So let me just turn so that you can see exactly what I'm doing from down the line. So there's 12 o'clock, there's three o'clock. So if I set up like this, here's my lead arm. I'm gonna take my lead arm from 12 o'clock, I'm gonna move it to three o'clock. Okay, three o'clock right there, 12 to three. Now what this is trying to get you to do, obviously, is to get you to coil, but it's trying to get you to stop going like this, picking the club up, okay, taking it back too straight, okay, all of these things, you know, out this way, you know, if you felt like you were reaching, okay, you got to reach out, well, yeah, the problem is that's at like two o'clock, okay, you've got to get the rotation so we're going from 12 o'clock to three o'clock. See, I can see that ball right there just on this side of my hand. So if I go 12 o'clock, three o'clock, there's the ball. If I went like this, I'd easy, easily be able to see the ball is on this side of my hand, not on this side. So that would tell me that I'm picking it up or doing something I really shouldn't be doing, okay? Now also, if you went like this and you started to really kind of fan the club open like this. A lot of people do this. Okay, that's not gonna be it either. Okay, so the, the ball, I can't even see that ball on the ground right there. So we're going right here, 12 o'clock, three o'clock. You can see the ball on this side of your hand. Now from here, you're gonna keep going up to the top of the backswing, of course. All right, so maybe you use that as the mental image. Just think, lead arm is like the minute hand on a clock. Okay, you step up, you're thinking, okay, Minute hand is pointing at 12 o'clock. To take it back, I'm gonna go from 12 o'clock, three o'clock, just keep it going up to the top and then hit your shot. So here we are, 12 o'clock, three o'clock, hit your shot. Okay, so give that a try because that will start to get you to really coil back, get the back to the target. You know, once we can get that body coiling properly going back, then we can take our arms and turn them off because we don't need to hit the ball anymore. If your body's not working, you will have to use your arms. So if I can get your body working, now you don't have to hit anymore because you have another way to hit the ball. And that's with your body, not your arms. Okay, so give that a try. Just, and again, you could just do that at the house just for a second. You don't need a golf club. Just go like this and go, okay, there's 12 o'clock. Uh, okay, three o'clock. 12 o'clock, oh, three o'clock right there. Okay, good. Oh, that's what he's telling me to do. Okay, so now tee up a ball if next time you go out to the range or go to the backyard and try it. Okay, oh, see, I'm really getting that feeling of coiling. Okay, and that's what we wanna try and do to then apply them to your shots. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. Here's another tip that's gonna help you improve your swing. Now, right below that, don't forget to click on that link because I'm going to send you some free samples of my body swing book and video series that'll take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing.